So how do we solve a quadratic equation um, that has complex roots? So I will use the quadratic formula minus p plus minus b squared minus 4 is your whole thing under root upon 2a to solve quadratic functions. So this will be x equals to minus b, so minus 1 plus minus 1 squared minus 4ac, so 4ac upon 2a. I get minus 1 plus minus minus root 3 upon 2. This will become minus 1 plus minus root 3 iota upon 2. So my roots are minus 1 upon 2 plus root 3 iota upon 2 and minus 1 upon 2 minus root 3 iota upon 2. So this is how you solve a quadratic. If you talk about how to solve a cubic equation, first we'll try to find a, 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 a so the basic deal is that uh, complex roots always come in pairs, in conjugates. So uh, in a cubic equation, I will get one real root and two complex roots, if there are any complex roots uh, in this equation. So first, through trial and error, I'll find the real root. So I'll try, I'll plug in one first. So when I plug in one, I get one cube, one cube, one minus seven plus 19 is 13 and minus 13 is zero. So x minus 1 is a factor. Now using this factor, I will solve for the quadratic factor of the cu this cubic equation. Plus 19x minus 13 divided by x minus 1. So first, x squared this will be x cubed minus x squared cancel sign change and this will be minus 6x squared plus 19x minus 6x and this becomes minus 6x squared plus 6x again sign change and finally I get 13x minus 13 and I get 13 so 13 x minus 13 it's change of signs and I get the quadratic factor x cube minus 6x plus 13 equals to 0 now I'll solve this quadratic equation the same way to find the two complex roots minus b so minus minus 6 this will be plus 6 minus minus b squared so this will be minus 6 squared is 36 minus 4 ac so 4 into 1 into 13 this is minus 52 so upon 2a and finally i get 6 plus minus root of minus 16 upon 2 and this becomes 6 plus minus 4 iota upon 2 and I get the two complex roots 3 plus minus 2i. So the roots of this equation will be 1 and 3 plus minus 2i. Now say you have uh, two complex roots and you have to go back to the quadratic equation uh, you solved uh, the one that was solved to get these two roots so if you have two complex numbers in this case let's use the same ones 3 plus minus 2i and you want to go back to the quadratic equation so the formula for that is x squared minus sum of roots x plus product of roots. So let's say x squared 
minus the sum of the roots. So 3 plus 2i plus 3 minus 2i x and 2i 2i cancelled and then we get 3 plus 2i 3 minus 2i. So this will become x squared minus 6x and complex into its conjugate is a squared plus b squared so 9 plus 4 and we get 13 back to the same quadratic that we had initially that's this one over here so this is how you solve a cubic equation uh, to find its three complex roots uh, sorry three roots one of which will be real and the other two will be complex roots so we know that if there is a complex root, they will always occur in, in a pair, in a conjugate pair. And finally, how do we solve a quartic equation? So, it's the same thing. If there is a complex root, they will occur in a pair. So, either we'll get four complex roots or we'll get two real roots and two complex roots. So, the first one is simply a trial and error. So, I'll plug in one to say if x minus one is a root. So, 4 minus 20 minus 16 plus 37 uh, is uh, 31 and minus 31. And finally plus 10, this will add up to 0. So x minus 1 is a root. So now to find the cubic root. So this will be 4 x to the power 4 minus 20 x cubed. plus 37 x squared minus 31 x plus 10 dividing it by x minus 1 so first one will be 4 x cubed so 4 x cubed minus 4 x cubed sorry 4 x to the power 4 change of signs this gets cancelled out this becomes 24 x cubed hang on a second I think I did a mistake oh yeah so this will be minus 16 x cubed plus 37 x squared next minus 16 x squared so this will again be minus 16 x squared plus 16 x squared change of signs and this becomes 21 x squared and we get 21 x squared minus 31 x plus 21 x I get 21 x squared minus 21x change of signs and finally I get 10x minus 10x plus 10 so I get the cubic equation for this one the cubic equation will be 4x cubed minus 16 x squared plus 21 x minus 10 let's solve the cubic equation so I'll plug in 2 so 2 cube is 8 4 into 8 is 24 minus 16 times 4 so 28 uh, sorry uh, so, 30, so 32 minus 64 is minus 32 plus 42 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So x minus 2 is another factor of the quartic equation. And now using this factor, this will be 4x cubed minus 16 x squared plus 21x minus 10 x minus 2 so the first one will be 4x squared so 4x cubed 
minus 8x squared change of signs I get minus 8x cubed plus 21x next minus 8x so this will be minus 8x squared plus 16x change of signs and I get 5x minus 10 and finally plus 5 so this will be 5x minus 10 change of signs both cancelled out and I get the quadratic factor that's 4x cubed minus 8x plus 5 and now minus b plus minus b squared minus 4 ac upon 2a so this will be 8 plus minus minus 16 upon 8 so I finally get 8 plus minus 4i upon 8 so this will finally become 1 plus minus half iota so if we go back to the original quartic equation the roots for this equation are 1 to the real roots and 1 plus minus half iota so this is how you solve a quadratic a cubic and a quartic equation in the next video we'll talk about how to calculate a square root of a complex number